Opening up the box, the RT97 portable repeater comes with an AC adapter and power cord, 12 volt DC power cable, and a USB programming cable. Then the repeater itself is housed in a heavy duty aluminum enclosure. On one side is a four pin power port, and on the other side is a UHF female connection, also known as an SO239. And that's and there's what appears to be a leather carrying strap on the top and a small LCD display and two, with two buttons on the front of the unit. There's no power switch. So the unit turns on uh, when the power cord is attached to a power source. Taking a quick look at the specs, the RT97 portable repeater is available in either a VHF or UHF unit and can be ordered with either a 5 MHz or a 10 MHz offset split. And we'll talk more about that in a bit. Uh, this is an FM analog repeater has 16 memory channels, 10 watts of output power, wide or narrow band operation. CT CSS and DCS tone squelch, and it'll work on either 12 through 24 volts. Uh, dimensions are about nine and a half by seven and a half inches and uh, three inches thick. Now looking around inside the repeater, not only do you see the duplexer that we talked about, but also uh, the radio units, one for receive and another for transmit, encased in an aluminum block, and a circuit board that appears to provide some power filtering and um, programming control. The unit had the frequency pair, you know, I, I specified during the ordering process, and it all set up for channel one. Uh, the, the default CTCSS code was 136.5, um, and I could examine that by long pressing the channel select button. A UHF repeater will receive on the upper frequency and transmit on the lower one. It listens to the lower frequency and transmits on the upper one. Well, first, the good things that I like about the RT97 are its compact size, easy setup, weather resistant design, AC adapter with a DC power plug, and 10 watts of transmit power. Only the 5 megahertz split on the UHF model can be used in the US. You know, there's no re re actual repeater controller in the box, so you don't have a repeater ID function, there's no timeout timers, or any other repeater functions that you may be used to. And also the transmit and the receive uh, frequencies are reversed from normal, uh, normal convention here in the US. Video Shopping Network An Amazon Affiliate To see this product on Amazon Click the link in the video description below. You'll be able to see current pricing, product previews, and any special deals. Desktop users should see the Amazon quick link below the video. Mobile users will need to click the little down arrow below the video first.